Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Letter by Wally featuring John Mayer. And we end up capling this on third fret to match the recording. We're going to start off with kind of that chorus progression on an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger gets the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we go to a G major chord. G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you kind of hear where, where the A string on the second fret B note is kind of coming out on that part. And so you may want to think about that as a G slash B or a G major chord with a B in the bass. And then from the G slash B, oh, and another way you can do that is putting the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. So you might dig on that for your G major too. And then from the G we'll be going to a C major. Play C major. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum all the A string to the high string, that'll get you your clear sound with that. And that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C we're going to be going to an F major chord. Normally you do this as a bar chord, and we'll talk about an easier way to do this too. But we'll go first finger over the entire first fret, second finger on the G string second fret, third finger on the A string third fret, and the pinky on the D string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now if you're just starting out, a good substitute for that is something called F major 7, where you do the first finger on the B string first fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the F major, or the D string to the high E, that sounds an F major 7 chord, and it sounds really happy. And then from the F on our chorus, we go to an E major chord. And then we play E major, first finger goes to the G on the first fret, second finger on the A string second fret, and third finger on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord, and it sounds really happy. Now you can also kind of lift off the third finger of that and make it an E7 chord, or take the pinky and kind of add it in on the B string on the third. That's another way you can play and then from the E, we go back to our A minor chord, and then we do another A minor chord. And it's really quick through the tune, though. Now, you may want to do work just downs on it, kind of A minor, A minor, A minor, G slash B, C. So I'm kind of adding in some right hand beating through that part. And then kind of thinking eight quick downs on everything except for that, that A minor, G slash B change. So A minor, A minor. patterns for a song like this though is a down down up up down up and you could kind of get that to work and it'd be a fast pace you'd have kind of a minor down up up down up a minor down up up down up a minor down down g slash down down c down down up up down 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 up a minor down up down up a minor down so if if that's a really really quick and sane for you you could kind of work it as kind of an A minor the down down A minor the down down A minor the down G slash B C the down down and you kind of end up kind of having that pattern too. So that might be another option too if that seems really incredibly fast through the song. So you may want to think about doing it that way if that seems really fast for you. And what you'll hear in the recording is kind of some little arpeggios of the chords, little broken up chords. So you may want to kind of play around with that and just kind of throw that as kind of an open-ended idea to kind of play individual notes while you're on the chord. And then from that chorus, then we'll be going into our verse part. And our verse is kind of a big vamp on the A minor. You may want to kind of just work down, down, up, up, down, up, or down, down, up on each chord. Or you can kind of gravitate towards those downs or mix, it, mix them up. And then we end up repeating that, the A minor for our verse, and then going into our pre-chorus. And our pre-chorus, and I'm kind of following what happens later on in the, the song for this progression. But you'd start on a D minor chord, and we play D minor. First finger goes to the high E on the first fret second finger on the G string second fret and the third or the fourth finger on the B string third fret and if you strum the D string to the high E string that sounds a D minor chord and it sounds really sad and then from the D minor we go to our A minor chord and then we go to our C major chord and then we end on a D major chord and we play D major first finger goes the G on the second fret second finger on the high E second fret 
the third finger on the B string, third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. For myself, I might gravitate towards the D minor for that part, but there's definitely that, that D major comes out later on in the song. So you'd have that D minor, A minor, Fast. You could do just the down, down of the three. and kind of repeating parts through the song. Now the weird part is to play along with Wale, instead of starting on an A minor chord, starting on a C minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your A minor is really a C minor chord, your G major is really a B flat major chord, and your C major is really an E flat major chord, and your F is really an A flat major, and your E major is really a G major chord. And when we get to the D minor, it's really an F minor chord, and the D major is really an F major chord. I'm going to take it from the very beginning. We start out on that chorus part, and you could kind of work just the, those downs. It's kind of A minor, A minor, A minor, G slash B, C, F, E major. times times eight which is crazy and then from there that we hit our pre-chorus part so we tried that we could do that with the down down up up down up and have d minor a minor c d major or if that seems really fast to you or that down down up i need through that part and then from there then we're going back into our chorus part now one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A for the bass. On the G slash B, you have the A for the bass. On the C, you have the A for the bass. On the F, you have the B for the bass for the F major. So low E string for the F major chord. E major has got the low E bass. And the D minor would have the Try adding bases of that chorus. We have A minor, A minor, A minor, G slash B, C A bass, F bass, down, up, down, up, B, up, down, right, A bass. Or if that seems really, really fast to get to have that tempo, you could work it as kind of a bass down. But have A minor, A minor, C, G slash B, C. Is actually, a, what can be really cool is with that is to kind of make the bass note the first note that you hit in the arpeggio. That can sound a little bit more like a recording. And I'm kind of doing that with the pick right this second. But you could kind of adjust that and do it finger style if you're kind of interested in that And then from there, then we'd be going into our verse part again. So we've got kind of our A minor with a bass down, up, up, down, up. Or you can work it with a bass down, up idea to kind of add in some basses through the verse. And there are some places through that where you'll kind of hear, hear almost like stop times where you may want to do just kind of, kind of a down and kind of kill the strings on the A minor. So that be kind of cool to accent some things. And then from there, then we're going into our pre-chorus part. So you could add basses to that too and have D with the minor with the bass down, up, up, down, up. Now 
if you are kind of interested in kind of doing the, this finger style, normally your thumb would take the base um, idea of the E string, A string, and D string, and then you could kind of line up your index finger on the G string, middle finger on the B string, and then ring finger on the high E string, and a really easy arpeggio to kind of work would be kind of a bass and then index middle ring idea, actually. So that could be kind of a cool way to kind of work it through the song, too. And you kind of think that twice for all the chords we were doing down, down, up, up, down, up on. And then you just do it one time for the ones we're halving. So you have A minor, A minor, A minor, G slash B. times and then going into kind of our outro solo which is all kind of around A minor kind of like our verses. But that's the basics of how you could strum through it and sort of finger style through letter uh, by Wale featuring John Mayer. So good luck! <laughs>